to do it on some mechanisms. We've done four of them, but I just want to go through electrophilic substitution, how we make the different electrophiles. So electrophilic substitution. First of all, we have the nitronium ion, NO2+. Plus. How do we make that? Well, we use concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. And if you react those together, what you get is you get HSO4 minus and H2NO3 plus. Then the H2NO3 plus breaks down to form water and your nitronium ion. And at the end of the reaction, you make H plus. That H plus reacts with the HSO4 minus and reforms H2SO4. So therefore your H2SO4 is a catalyst. Next one, you need to make the bromonium ion, the Br plus. How do you do that? Well, you take bromine and you react it with a halogen carrier. You can use either iron, FeBr3 or AlBr3. And what you'll get, I'll go for the FeBr3, you get the bromonium ion and you get your FeBr4 minus. At the end, you get H plus form. So H plus will react with your FeBr4 minus and it will reform. You get HBr and FeBr3. Therefore, you've reformed it so it's a catalyst. The last one you're looking for, well, I won't do the alkylonium, I'll do the acylonium. You're looking for an acyl chloride, like RCOCl, and you can react it with AlCl3. That's called Friedel Craft acylation. What do you get? You get AlCl4 minus, and you get your RC double bond O um, plus as your electrophile. What do you do? You get H plus forms. That reacts with your AlCl4 minus to give you HCl and AlCl3. That means you've reformed that, so it's a catalyst.